Hey guys, it's Forsaken Realms today here with a new video. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Minecraft 1.9.3 server. First off, you're going to want to go to these links that I'll have in the description box. Let's start off with the client. This is just how to get on a 1.9.3 server. Open up your internet browser. Go to any search engine. Google's mine. Oh, I guess type in the URL. But for you, it'll be in the description box. Wait five seconds for the ad. Three, two, one, all right. Skip ad. Bring you to mediafire.com. Minecraft.jar. Click here. Save file. Yeah. And now find it right here. It's right here. Now go click on start. Click on run. If, or if you have a search bar at the bottom. Then type in percent app data percent, then press enter. You should get this up. Click on, let me zoom in a little. Alright, click on period Minecraft, then the bin, and then put that new download in here, right here. N there. And now you're done if you want to play in a Minecraft 1.9.3 server. But if you want to play, if you want to create your own Minecraft 1.9.3 server, keep on watching. Now, click on the second link I'll have in the description box, and it will bring you to this. Sorry, another ad fly. Just wait five seconds, and it'll be there. Skip ad. Minecraft server jar. Click here. Save file. Alright, so now we're all done with all this. X out of that. Make a new folder. I just named mine Minecraft 1.9.3. Put that Minecraft server.jar file in there. Open up the folder. Double click on the server. Start thing. And it'll create all these new files. I've said that also in all my other videos about creating your own Minecraft server. And while it's starting, I'll just do another tutorial of how to set it all up for newcomers. Level name, world, just keep that default. And if you change it, then it's going to change like your world. It, like This won't be world anymore right there. View distance, who cares? Spawn monsters, false if you don't want monsters, true if you do. Online mode, true if you want only premium people, false if you want people that have a correct version, that free version, or whatever. Difficulty, one. It varies from one to three. I just normally keep mine at one. Game mode, zero. Keep that at zero unless if you have like a like private server, I guess, with only your friends, not random people. Spawn animals, keep that true. You want people to be able to get their own food and stuff like wool and all that. Max players 20, probably keep that same. Server IP. Alright, so if you have Hamachi, it's really easy. Just put your Hamachi IP right there. If you have, if you're not using Hamachi, which I highly suggest that you do use Hamachi, then you're going to need to find another video because I don't know how. PvP equals true. If you, true if you want people to be able to kill each other. False if you do not want them to be able to kill each other. I actually my server right now is on true and allow flight false if you don't want people to be able to use a fly mod and set it to true if you don't care if they use a fly mod and whitelist is just a selective amount of people that you have on your server so I guess if you're just gonna have one with your friends then do whitelist and MOTD also known as message of the day Forsaken Craft, that's the name of my Minecraft server, or Forsaken Realms Rules. Or we can do even better. Here we go. Ha. Ah. Funny guy I am. Alright, so now. We have the server all started up. We got done for help. Press yeah, one more. And it should not take that long to start all up once you're done. I mean, once you once you've double clicked on it once. 
But now since we changed the IP, we're going to have to restart the server. So close out of it. And there's we got to save this. Make sure to save it or it won't add in. And just start up the server again. Hopefully it doesn't take as long, which it doesn't look like it is. And as you can see now, it doesn't say, well, I don't have enough RAM, but it doesn't say, like, failed to load banned IPs, banned players, all that. All right, so now it's all up. Let's open up our Minecraft. Let me get to the real version. And make sure to install the 1.9.3 client before you get on. And sorry if this is laggy at all. It normally is with the with the recorder going. Put in your IP that you put in for that. And as you can see over the top right, uh, top left, Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 3. What is this? Yeah, yeah. This looks pretty weird. Well, guys, yeah, you can pretty much just experiment with it all. My world right now looks pretty weird with this, like, straight drop-off wall and water coming down. Looks pretty fun, though. I might play this one. All right, guys, well, that's about all today for this tutorial of how to get your own Minecraft 1.9.3 server. I hope that you liked it, and please subscribe. Have a good day. Give me a funky ass bass line.